Welcome back to The Price of Business. I am your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. I got the one and only Super Julie. Super Julie Braun, as we call her. Uh, and the reason why we call her Super is because, and, and we need to make our own superhero theme music for you. you we, we've done the Superman before, but you're Super Julie, and that's different. But, you know, the name fits, and I love that branding. I think it's smart, it's clever, and it's, it epitomizes what you do. It's so unique in the intern industry. Uh, we're clients of uh, Super Interns, just for full disclosure, and just wanted to tell uh, their story to others. Uh, and I love what you do. You've added professionalism, and you've created a paradigm shift in the way people uh, develop intern relationships. And I say shame on anyone to try to do an intern program without Super Julie. How are you today? I'm great, Kevin. Thank you so much. Yeah, you How bet. How are you? I'm doing fine. Glad to have you on. And by the way, the, the website there is uh, Super Julie, or rather superinterns.com. Introduce your guest for us today. Sure thing. So today I have Ken LaRoe, and he is the CEO and founder of the First Green Bank, which is a community bank in Central Florida. Ken, good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the program. Tell us, uh, first of all, tell us about the name. Obviously, we think of green, we think of money, but we also think of in, in the environment as well. Uh, kind of tell, tell us what it's all about. Well, I, I think you just perfectly summarized it. Um, we, we, uh, I always introduce myself as a, a rabid environmentalist, but I ran into some issues with my rather right-leaning uh, customers and shareholders when I do that. And it, it occurred to me in the middle of the night, actually came to me in a dream, that, um, well, gosh, if I can be a rabid environmentalist, I'm a rabid capitalist also. And, and the two are not mutually exclusive. And, in fact, the two should be uh, totally um, uh, cohesive and, and uh, holistic. Interesting. Go ahead, Julie. Yeah, so, Ken, tell us a little bit about the, the bank itself. You're located in Central Florida, and tell us a little bit about what makes you green beyond the money. What makes you environmentally friendly? Well, that's the uh, that's the sixty four thousand dollar question, and of course, I've been asked asked it since the bank started, and um, found myself many times thinking, you know, I I kind of bow up and say, well, gosh, that's that's a question that should be self-evident. We do everything. And then I realized, you know, I'm not worthy to be calling myself a, a green bank because we don't do enough. And I guess that's where I am in the journey presently is that um, that I want to do so much more. And when we started the bank, it was with the objective that we would provide interest rate discounts for uh, sustainable real estate projects because we're located in Central Florida. That's what that's what happens here. That is the unfortunately the industry. Um, but we started in 2009, right at the the bottom of the trough, and there were no real estate projects, so we had no takers, and it made us kind of forced us to to define or redefine who we were real quickly, real time. Um, so you're so, doing things like um, using eco friendly materials and, and solar power, right? Yes, and um, along those lines is we decided that we were going to try to make ourselves internally and operationally as sustainable as possible, whatever that meant, up to and including our uh, headquarters building is uh, LEED Platinum, and at the time we built it, it was only the second privately owned LEED Platinum building in the entire state of Florida. Um, We have a a tremendous solar financing program for, for customers, um, that we've we've structured it so the payment is basically low enough that the energy savings will pay the payment. Um, we uh, have um, a, a loaner car program at the bank for our coworkers. That's a a Prius V, so that to try to encourage our coworkers to to experience how cool a high mileage hybrid vehicle is, but most importantly for their spouses to experience it. <laughs> um, there's a, gosh, I'd like to proudly say there's a list as long as my arm of stuff we do, but, um, 
we have limited time. <laughs> yeah, and, and absolutely. But that was pretty impressive, Ken. By the way, Ken's uh, bank can be found at firstgreenbank.com. That's firstgreenbank.com. Your question, Julie. So what sort of um, customers do you have? Who, who comes to, to bank with you? Are they all green or is there a mixture, as you were, you were kind of indicating at the beginning of the show? Uh, yes, ma'am. No, they're um, they're definitely not all green. We're located in Central Florida, which I've uh, jokingly referred to as the Pleistocene in regards to environmental sustainability, um, and that has gotten me in trouble in in uh, groups where I've spoken also. So I, I'm trying not to say that anymore. But um, we are we are not an environmentally conscious community or area. So we have people that bank with us just because we're a very friendly, um, high-touch uh, community bank, and they could care less about the, the mission or the values proposition. We have people that bank with us just because of it. And if we were to to allocate statistically where that falls, it's probably 15% of our customers are very, very values-aligned um, Probably forty uh, percent are ambivalent or agnostic, and then we probably I don't know somewhere down at the bottom ten or fifteen percent who are actually hostile to it. And I've and I've I've, I've experienced that. I've experienced that in shareholder meetings. And um, if any listener wants to go to our website, we put our full shareholder meetings on the website, uh, um, partially for transparency. But I had a little bit of a um, dialogue, if you will, with a a very vocal shareholder at this last meeting. Yeah. So, uh, and that's interesting. Why don't they just go to another bank? <laughs> well, I, I don't invite- understand how people think. I-, I would just go to another bank if I was hostile. I, I invited him to. Um, huh. People so, shouldn't uh, have I mean- to have an invitation to do that. I find that interesting. Anyway, go ahead, Julie. So, Ken, who inspires you um, to, to to go in this route? I mean, did you have a, a wake-up moment where you thought, this is something that I'm going to create because of something you read or saw? Um, yeah, yes and yes. I, I uh, Actually, I had started a bank in 99, and I sold it in 06. And part of the deal I negotiated was I didn't, I wasn't going to hang around because I, I just don't tend to play well in other people's sandboxes. And... Um, I bought a little mini motorhome, and my wife and I drove cross-country fishing and riding our bikes. And in that drive, my brother had given me a book um, entitled Let My People Go Surfing, and it's um, Yvonne Chouinard's autobiography. He's the founder and owner of uh, Patagonia Clothing. And I read the book and thought, well, gosh, if he can do this in the clothing industry, which is pretty anathema to environmental sustainability, then surely I can do it in the banking industry that's also um, contrary to anything sustainable. Mm-hmm. Um, and that was the genesis. Got to wrap it up. Great uh, note to na- wrap it up on. Firstgreenbank.com. And then Julie, Super Julie Braun, as we call her, superinterns.com. Thanks to both of you. Thank you so much, Kevin. When we Thanks. come back, much more for you. I do want to remind you the best content here shows up over there at usdatareview.com. And I am Kevin Price, and this is The Price of Business.